wish I had a normal window in my room because it's snowing outside and it is so beautiful and I cannot show it to you and that is so unfair. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Franny and today I want to share with you my January TBR, all the books that I plan on reading in the month of January. And I, <laughs> I never learn from my mistakes because this TBR is quite ambitious and I have exams in January and February, which means no time to read because my time should be devoted to studying. Do you think that stopped me? No, it didn't. First and foremost, I'm currently in the middle of The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. I thought I was going to finish this in 2018. That didn't happen. You won't see it in my top books of 2018 because I didn't finish it in 2018, but you will see it in my top whatever of 2019 because it can't get any better than that, okay? I'm still loving it, I am adoring every single sentence, and I don't want this to end, perhaps that's why I didn't finish it last year, but I'm just, I'm in love with Kazuo Ishiguro, and I'm definitely going to read more books by Kazuo Ishiguro this year. Also, I'm currently reading the ebook of another book that wasn't initially on my TBR, but a friend of mine, kind of convinced me to pick it up, even though I just I didn't have the time, but he still did. It is Winter by Ali Smith. I picked it up this morning because it started snowing and so I needed a winter book. And what book could be more winter than winter? Right? I don't have much to say about this book. It is the second in the Seasonal Quartet by Ali Smith. I haven't read Autumn, but I have been told that I could start this one without having read the first one. And the writing style is not one of the easiest to get into, I think, but it is quite poetic. And I think I'm starting to getting used to it and starting to appreciate it. So. We'll see how it goes. The classic that I chose for the month of January is kind of a modern classic and it is just a sign of fate because a few days after I chose this book for the month of January, I found out that Adrian and Dalton over at Strip Cover Lit were doing a read-along for this book in the month of January and you will find in the description down below all the dates and pages and information and stuff that you need, but they are reading The Road by Cormac McCarthy and I've been wanting to read this book for ages, okay? And it should be a post-apocalyptic book that focuses on the relationship between a dad and his son and yeah, I'm here for it and I cannot wait and I'm just so excited to finally be able to buddy read a book with Adrian and Dalton and it's gonna be lit. Next is a book that I chose for the Rereadathon. I talked about the Rereadathon in my reading goals for 2019. Basically, it's an year-long readathon where each month you read a book that you've already read in the past and the prompt for the month of January was to read a book that was a first for you and I decided to go with Acabadora by Michela Murcia. She is quite a famous and beloved Italian author at the moment. This is a first in the sense that this is the first book that my father ever lent to me, the first book that he ever recommended to me, and I read it ages ago, and I think I liked it quite a lot. I don't remember a lot about it because I was very young, but it is a literary fiction, and it should be about a girl, an orphan, I think, that goes to live with an old woman in Sardinia, and it is about the relationship between these two women and yeah i cannot wait to read it and to reread it and see how i like it now and this book has been translated into english i'm quite sure of that so it'll definitely feature in my italian books in translation or whatever i'm gonna call that series that i will do on my channel i'll cross that bridge when i get there okay i suck at names so if you have suggestions for names for that series definitely let me know because i really suck at that but still you'll be hearing me talk about this book a lot in the near future. Another literary fiction that I would love to get to in the month of January is Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. 
and there's quite the hype surrounding this book both in a positive and in a negative sense because from what I've seen so far you either really love it or really hate it. Anya from Anya's Bell Jar really loved it and I trust her opinion so I have a good feeling about it. Of course I also need some fantasy this month especially with the exams and all. I need something to escape reality, okay? The anxiety of reality and the fantasy book that I would like to read is the first book in the Queen's Thief series by Megan Whalen Turner. The first book is called The Thief. The sixth book in the series is coming out in March and I think that all the books in this series are fairly short so I think I might catch up. <laughs> Yeah, right. I don't think so, but let's just let's just think that I can. Um, and I don't know a lot about this besides the fact that there's a thief that has to steal something perhaps for the queen or from the queen. I don't know, but there's a thief. And that is the fantasy trope that I love the most when there's a character that has to steal something. I'm all for it. And it is also supposed to be quite a political fantasy story with a lot of politics in it and that's another thing that I just adore in fantasy books so this series is just calling to me and I cannot wait to start it. I'm so sorry for the lighting change but you guys by now are very well aware that the lighting in my room has a life of its own. I do not control it, I do not understand it, we are just gonna go with that because I don't know what to do. I give up. There's a YA book that I've been eyeing for a while and that I want to read this month and that is Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemmerer. Now you'll, you'll understand why I'm smiling in a second. I'm smiling because this book has a very interesting synopsis and I don't know what to think about that and that is precisely why I want to read this book. Basically, this book is about a girl who has lost her mother and she starts writing letters that she leaves on her mother's grave. And one day she finds a reply and of course she knows that it's not her mother replying to her. I have a soft spot for books with letters in them, okay? Because I love letters. I love writing letters, I love receiving letters, reading them, writing them, sending them, whatever. But if someone else were to read a letter that I wrote and that wasn't directed at them, I would be so angry. Like, you better start running because I'm going to kick you in the butt. That would be a violation of my privacy and that is something that I cannot stand. If I don't want to share something with you and you somehow get to know that something, that's just a huge no for me. Like, it's just something I cannot stand it, okay? It's, it's just something that I hate with my whole being. But if an author wrote something like this, being aware of, you know, how privacy is important in today's society, A, she's got some balls. And two, and two, A and two, sure. And B, she must have done it in a way that is acceptable in a way that makes sense and that makes the readers empathize with the characters in the book. And I'm interested to see how that plays out in the book, if it's good or a disappointment. And last but not least, I honestly don't think that this is going to happen, but I still wanted to put it out there. The last book that I would <laughs> love to get to this month but I don't think it's gonna happen as I told you is Il Principe or The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli and that is because I have an exam next month about politics and I don't have to study this text in particular for that exam because it's more recent politics and Machiavelli lived between the 15th and the 16th century so I don't have to study it for the exam but I think that I would gain much insight from the book if I was able to read it before the exam so we'll see we'll see 
and this is it for my very ambitious January TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books, if you would like to, what books you are reading in the month of January, and I will see you very soon in another video. Four hugs!